is the island of Butte, which used to be the home of someone that most of you will remember very well indeed. In fact, the moment you set foot in the town of Rothsey, you'll come across the name Zavaroni, Zavaroni, Zavaroni. It was nearly 20 years ago that opportunity knocked for Lena Zavaroni, and overnight, the nine-year-old schoolgirl from Rothsey became an international star. place there. I used to do the, the uh, local talent competitions in the summer. I bet you always won. And well I don't, I don't, I don't I'm, too, I'm too shy to say. Uh, well, when I went to London I was staying with my manager and she had this great big you know, beautiful, posh, flat and everything like that. And I was just totally natural, you know, I'd never experienced anything like that. And um, I remember sitting at the table and there was like, like the napkins were, were rolled around into hat-like things. And I thought, what do you, you know, what do you do with it? And so I, I stuck it on my, I thought it was a hat. <laughs> this is true, honestly. <laughs> I stuck it on my head and I thought it was a hat. Time of the day. To learn a song in Japanese and um, Mahi's making eyes at me. I bet you don't remember. You know, it. I do. I do. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why it's stuck in my head, but um, it goes, Mama, I know he told I know. Mama, so take in a he told. Mama, it's so more at a he called. no. Mama, more heru he told me, Mama. <laughs> Do you have happy memories of being at school here? Oh, yeah. But memories of international stardom and of happy days at primary school are clouded by her later experiences of anorexia, eating disorders and depression. And I was at stage school, I was quite a plump little thing and, and everybody that had auditioned for stage school was sort of a, a little weeny things, you know, because they were um, intended to grow up into sort of dancers and ballet dancers. But because I could just sing, I've never danced before. Or, um, acted or anything like that. So I was always the plump one of the school. I only had anorexia for two years and I remember coming out of it and um, really it developed into a clinical depression which has stayed with me ever since and that has been the main problem really i'm only human i'm just a woman help me believe in all i could be and all that i am show me There's no spirit in me, that's the part of the depression. There's no will and there's no meaning. But the word hope is a word, isn't it? Hope, it's a word. It's like no hope is a word. And if there's a word hope, then there is always hope at any time of life. And um, I think you've just got to think that, whether you feel it or not. That's all I'm asking of you. Just give me the strength to do every day what I have to do. Yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus, and tomorrow. Lord. 
Recently, I've just um, been picking up this little um, book thing, you know, and I've, I've been looking at it, and I, I looked at the words, and I thought, well, they do mean something to somebody who's going through tough times. So if they just could read something like this, like, it says, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. 